This is Neo Rotnow Rock Doc here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. On November 18th, 1993, Nirvana recorded an episode of MTV Unplugged. The show was one of the last televised performances by Kurt Cobain, whose suicide came about five months later. Nirvana's performance was released as MTV Unplugged in New York, selling over 5 million copies and winning Best Alternative Music Performance at the Grammys in 1996. Characterized by their punk aesthetic, Billboard described Nirvana as a genius blend of Kurt Cobain's raspy voice and gnashing guitars, Dave Grohl's relentless drumming, and Chris Novoselic's uniting bass work that connected with fans in a hail of alternatively melodic and hard-charging songs. Nirvana's success popularized alternative rock, and they were often referenced as the figurehead band of Generation X. And despite a short mainstream career spanning only three years, their music continues to influence modern rock culture. MTV launched Unplugged in 1989 so that artists could showcase their work without electricity. Many of the artists who appeared on the show in the 90s released their Unplugged session as an album. And some of these albums were commercial and critical hits. Eric Clapton's Unplugged sold 26 million copies worldwide. So it was no surprise that Nirvana, who was one of the biggest groups in the world at the time, would agree to do the show. Nirvana's set list consisted of some of their lesser-known originals and covers of songs by the Meat Puppets, Lead Belly, David Bowie, and the Vaselines. Beth McCarthy Miller was the director for the session, and as she describes, Kurt had some interesting requests. It was Kurt's idea, all those flowers, um, and we had a set designer, this guy, Tom Phillips, that would just put up different soft goods depending upon the uh, who it was. And um, I walked out to that set right before we loaded in the audience and all the candles and the flowers. And I was standing next to Alex Coletti, the producer, and he's like, oh, this looks really pretty. And I said, God, it looks a little like a funeral. It was really strange and, you know, obviously what happened after. But um, we shot the show and it was beautiful. And after the rehearsal, one of the MTV executives came up to me and said, I'm not sure if they're playing enough hits. Um, could you talk to Kurt about doing Smells Like Teen Spirit? And I said, no, that's great music. And if you want him to play Smells Like Teen Spirit, you need to go ask him, because I'm not going to. Um, and uh, the night of the show was just really magical. It was so amazing. And it was everything they did was so great. I mean, having the meat puppets on and doing that uh, Bowie cover's unbelievable. And that Lead Belly, I mean, uh, In the Pines just gave me chills every time I saw him perform that song. So we finished shooting. The audience loaded out. Um, Kurt came into the control room because he wanted to see some of it. And uh, I roll, we rolled a couple of songs, and he said, everything looks great. And he said, um, but uh, there's some moments where I'm smiling, and I'd like you to put them in the show. As it turns out, it wasn't really Cobain's idea, but something his manager insisted on. Okay, let's listen. From Nirvana Unplugged in New York, Come As You Are. 